Deceiving people isn't just about telling lies. The real experts manipulate you without you even knowing it. Psychology professor Robert Cialdini is the world authority on influence. He's identified six basic ways people are manipulated in everyday life. First up, reciprocity. Let me give you an example. Tipping customs in Australia are quite the same as in the United States. I know though there's research to show that a server can significantly increase the size of that tip by giving something to the customer immediately before the customer pays the bill. And I have one right here. A condom? A mint. Oh, phew. A mint on the tray increases the tip by 3.3%. If there are two mints on the tray for each diner, tips go up 14.1%. Then there's this one, consensus. The idea that if a lot of other people are doing something, it must be the right thing to do. If enough people were doing it, even ridiculous things, people follow the lead of others. An uh, interesting study done in New York City, researchers went to a particular spot, they stopped and had one individual stare for 60 seconds into the sky at nothing to see how many people would stop and crane their necks up uh, with him. How many people did this? When he was by himself, very few people did it, uh, about 5%. But the following day, they had him go at the same time to the same spot with four of his friends. And now 20% of everyone who walked by stopped and stared with him into the sky. Hey, what are you guys looking at? That's only valid in certain conditions. Method number three, authority. There was a study uh, here in the United States that showed that if someone dressed as a security guard with a, a security uh, uniform, walked up to people on the street and said, Oh, you're standing on the wrong side of this bus stop sign. Stand on the other side of it. They all did. Hey, excuse me, you're standing on the wrong side of the bus stop. You're going to stand over that side? I'm quite happy here, thanks. But apparently, I'm in a uniform. You have to stand yeah. on that side of the bus stop. You find people doing silly things because someone in a uniform there. has directed them to do it. See, it's working. You want me to do what? Next up, commitment. I can get you to take a stand on a topic by asking you to take a very small step in the direction of that topic. And then once you've taken that step and publicly taken a position, I can get you to take a much more extreme position because you've taken the first one. For example, in Israel, researchers showed that if you could get somebody to sign a petition favoring housing for um, the homeless, two weeks later, when you came back to their door, they were twice as likely to give a donation to the homeless. Hi, do you want to support the homeless? Yeah, sure. Great. Come on, guys. Thanks, buddy. Thanks, buddy. And this one. Scarcity is another principle of influence. Oh, how many has this guy got? People want more of those things they can have less of. We've seen it more recently with iPhones and iPads and iPods and so on. There's always this scarcity associated with it. That's why you see lines of people around the corner, some of them in sleeping bags waiting for those doors to open. I thought it was just because they were wankers. And finally, the one I use, Rehypnol. I, I mean attraction. That attractive young woman standing next to uh, an automobile makes the car more attractive. Dr. Cialdini, you're very, very persuasive. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Can I have a mint as well? You can. No, <laughs> no those are my, those are my, uh, my props. <laughs> so there are the six principles of persuasion. 
I don't know why, but after speaking to him, I bought a ton of his books. But are we really as easily manipulated as Cialdini suggests? Well, to test out his theories, I'm going to see if I can persuade members of the public to queue up for a red carpet that leads to nothing. No one would join the queue, but according to the principle of consensus, if I just get a friend to stand there, then other people should join in. Hey. What's going on here? To make things more interesting, our door bitch is not allowed to tell them what the queue is for. I'd say too much, but it's going to be really good. I'm not really sure. Um, the challenge is going to yeah. be good, I don't know. Won't be long now, guys. Add in the principle of scarcity. Um, it's pretty exclusive. There's not very many spaces left. So do you want to just line up? Yeah, yeah. You better line up soon because it's not very long. And we've got ourselves a queue. Um, it's just, it, I can't really say too much about it, but these guys have all lined up and we've only got a few spaces left if you want to join in. Join in, do it. All right, so you just line up then? Yeah, just line up, won't be too long. If Cialdini is right and people just behave like sheep, can I use his methods to persuade them to literally become sheep? If people have committed to 25 minutes in a queue, it's not a big ask of them to put on a sheep's head. Pop that on. Just look around and you pop that on. All right, whack that on. Or a full sheep suit. And if they're a bit sheepish, we'll just use the principle of attraction. Got some models to help you put this on. Hi, guys. Would you like to help Hi. these dudes out? Yeah. You look really good. Put it on. Um, Trust me, really? it's going to look really good. All right. This makes you look really muscly. Zipper at the front, you reckon? Zipper at the front. Zipper at the front. You got your dangly things tucked in there. Look, that looks fantastic. All right, we're good. Oh, I forgot the principle of authority. Get together. Get together. Get together. Is it going to work? Follow me. Uh, get into the pen. Go on, get in. Get in. Mirror. Get in. 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 As you can see, when you manipulate people with Cialdini's principles of persuasion, they're just lambs to the slaughter. Right. 